just offered me a mint backstage, so sorry guys, my breath probably smelled like shit. <laughs> wait. <laughs> you can wait. Okay. So, women got it easy, man, you know, like, they sit down, relax, and when they take a, this mint's fucking strong. <laughs> they relax. When they take a piss, one wipe done. Not men. No, like I'm the king of pissing down my leg. Yeah, no, it's not a fucking joke. This shit sucks. It's like, no matter how hard I shake it, like killing a rattlesnake, or like like choking an earthworm, if we're gonna be honest. Hey, it's true. Look at me. Look at my size. But everybody deals with it. You know, all guys. You ever dealt with that? You ever pissed down your leg? <laughs> no? You better start reading his fucking emails, because he's a liar. <laughs> we all deal with it. It's fucking embarrassing. Like, girls, you're lucky, because imagine, like, being at work and pissing down your leg, and you gotta, like, walk all weird and, like, hope people still take you seriously. <laughs> like, it do and doesn't work. But, uh, it happened so frequently, I wanted to know why it happened, so I did what any reasonable adult would do, and I fucking Googled my symptoms. <laughs> Turns out, I've got small dick syndrome, or I'm having a stroke. I'll let you guys know. You didn't think I was gonna come up here and talk about my dick for five minutes, did you? <laughs> According to my wife, that's the only thing I can do with my dick for five minutes. She calls me Tin Sick and Cunningham. But it's true, so, you know, whatever. I just didn't think that it was appropriate for her to bring it up in front of her fucking parents on our first date. Yeah. yeah, look at her. She knows that it's true, that's the problem. She like, my wife is super funny, but like, not on purpose. You know, she'll say random shit that like, makes me look bad, but then she'll follow it up with like, but it's okay. You know, nobody wants to have sex that long. <laughs> It doesn't make me feel any fucking better. But uh, we've got a good relationship, you know, like, just because we're from Indiana doesn't mean that we're like super white trashy, you know, and like shoot meth together. Like, every night definitely does not end in a drunken, uh, good old fashioned domestic violent case. But, uh, forgot. That happens sometimes. Uh, but anyway, we moved out here so I could pursue acting, if you can't tell by this luscious boyish face. Uh, I'm in between roles right now, or as she likes to constantly remind me, unemployed. But she's super supportive. Sometimes she's like a little too supportive. Like I just applied to a role uh, a couple weeks ago, and it was super vague, and then like I got the audition, and when the, cake, when the script came through, turns out that like it's this high school guy that like gets lucky, you know, by fucking some dude, super graphically. Well, like, I get it, it's acting, but like, I'm not there yet in my career, you know, like, I'm not ready for that scene. But she's like, no, babe, you can do it. Like, I believe in you, you suck that dick. Like, she's like, 50 bucks is 50 bucks. But I do other things outside of making gay porns. Because, yes, yes, I did do it. I am not a prideful man. But I am also a runner, as you can tell. And uh, I am one of those guys who runs without my shirt on. I'm one of those douchebags. But then again, I also wear a hat that has my name on it, so I'm super fucking narcissistic. But uh, I was running the other day, and I noticed this girl was like, staring right at my, my meat stick, you know, my man shaft there. And so, it had me feeling good. I was like, you know, let me check that shit out. How's that hanging? Nope, turns out it's just a fucking piss stain. <laughs> Thank you guys.